Vintage Cube. What's our rare? What's up? <laughs> you, you had me. I was like, oh, it's me. <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know, the Vintage Cube is just a whole pile of all of the best cards in Magic. Yeah, the Legacy Cube actually kind of like encourages you to build Legacy style decks. The Vintage Cube says, "Screw that! Put all the best cards in your deck." So, what's the silliest but most busted card we have? Rufellos? Silliest but most busted card. Rufellos, the Rafellos decks are insane. Mm-hmm. If you get a good one, like you want to be like, well, I think a Rafellos is a good start to a Rafellos deck. I don't know about you. Yes, but like the the green ramp decks. <laughs> yeah, if you can get them working, are great nuts. The value card here is Batter Skull. Batter Skull's kind of yeah. I, I think Batter Skull's a bit meh. I like a Jenny Vengeant. I like I like a Resto Angel. There's Kiki and Deceiver Exarch in this pack, which is awkward. Mm-hmm. If you want to take one, uh, if you're going to take one though, you take Kiki and, and Resto. Yeah, Kiki Resto Deceiver. Wow, this is a twin pack. Um, but you take the Kiki if you want to go that route, and then you hope to wheel probably the Exarch because the Resto is just good. Mm-hmm. Norn is very strong in like we the can Rian- do that. I think Brufellos probably makes more sense because. Norn is strong in like the Re- Reanimator decks and sort of in the Esper Control decks. Mm-hmm. Basalt Monolith goes into the Ramp deck. Emrakul. How is- ramp are we going? Emrakul. You don't ramp into Emrakul. You don't ramp into Emrakul. I mean, you cheap. can with. I mean, Rafellos and Marari's Wake are the way to do that. Yeah. Um, in, in terms of. There's literally zero green cards in the pack except it's for one half of Kitchen Finks. Probably Basalt Monolith is where you want to be. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, if you want to do the Ramp thing. No. Make an Emrakul back. You might get Emrakul back. I, th- I think Emrakul's the wrong way to go in the green decks. I think, think that's that's shooting too high. They have the new. We also just saw a twin there, by the way. Oh, something's good. Oh, channel. Channel definitely makes sense. Right. Um, channel just allows for some of the most busted things in the game. You just play a fireball, just in case. Score tribal builder is kind of rampy. Yeah, it makes sense. It's early interaction as well. It is kind of just we have no ramp payoff. Savannah makes sense if you want to do if you, we're hoping to pick up Marari's Wake and it works with Rafellos. But I think before we have any white cards, it's, it's probably just a ramp and growth link. Elder, yeah, okay. and a ramp and growth that blocks a creature. Mm-hmm. Acidic Slam is an excellent, excellent, excellent card to have. There's the t- Pester Mine. Jeez, man, someone's got an insane twin deck. Not someone. Um, this guy. If he went for it, if he went for it. Face, yeah. he probably saw the same pack we went and went. Eh. Um, Acidic Slam is a great thing. Yep. I think I'm very happy with that. Especially if you cast it on turn three. Um, how do you feel about just some Signets or a Hinterland Harbor maybe? or Signet, That Signet doesn't make a ton of sense. It's no. just colorless ramp at that point. Hinterland Harbor I guess makes the most sense out of these. But we've no blue cards. It's also not a forest. It's not a forest for Rafellos. It's awkward. Um, Academy Ruins. No, I, don't want no. any, I don't want any of these cards. I guess I'll take the Hinterland Harbor. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. Like. I can see it happening. Just in case. Seems like a jazz musician. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, they fixed this. Ish. Oh, there it is. There it Yay. Is. You, didn't, you, you weren't able to do that for a couple of weeks. What was the thing you just told me about that they fixed? That I'm, we're very pleased about this. Yeah. Um, a while ago, specifically about 97 days ago. 97. Yeah. Uh, Oshin and I encountered a glitch where we reserved a card and then Magic Online said, no, you didn't. <laughs> nope. And picked another card. And twice. twice. It, we reserved our pick one, pack one. Mm-hmm. And then it went, no, you didn't reserve that. And also, here's your next pick. Titan, yeah. Yeah. If you're doing the mono green thing, Titan's insane. <laughs> uh, that's hard to cast. Good in cube, though. It is cool in cube. You have my Elder also very strong in this kind of deck. But Titan's surely what we want. Titan, we have no payoff right now, so that's making me lean towards the Titan. Um, yeah, so we reserved our first pick. Magic Online ignored that reservation and then took another another card as well. Took our pick two as well. Do you want Garrick, Hangback Walker, or, or Harmonize? Harmonize? For me, I think I want Harmonize. I probably want Harmonize. These are both good too. I wouldn't mind either of these. I I don't love Relentless. I think he's fine, but he's not the best. And that was a glitch we encountered on Magic Online in a video. <coughs> Excuse me. And that glitch was fixed. <coughs> Shouldn't say you want glitch. to start that sentence again? Yeah. Yeah. You're okay? Yeah, no. I'd... That was a bug. I shouldn't say glitch. It was a bug that was kept what happened on Magic Online to us, and we had it on video and everything. And, I mean, we were by no means the first people to encounter it, but that's fine. And it was fixed in Wednesday's downtime. And I went and looked up our video, and that was a full 97 days ago. Yeah. yeah. So that's about... That's Very tw- good turnaround. Is that 12 downtimes? What's 7 yeah, by 12? 7 by 12 is 84. So... That's closer to 13 downtimes. Closer to 13 yeah. downtimes. Yeah. Actually, it's closer to 14 downtimes. Mm. It's almost exactly 14 downtimes. Yeah. 14 downtimes mm. to fix the bug. I mean, you know, I'm sure I'm not a programmer. You're closer to a programmer than I am. Yep. But that's a long time. Yeah. I've never worked on a project with this much kind of server client interaction, but. <laughs> the problem I have with that, Garrick, like, the plus one's actually pretty good. The plus one's pretty good. Minus three is great if we're ramping too. 
If we have the... Um, yeah, if you have the Emrakul. Or, no, it has to be green. So we, have, we, need, oh, to, we need to have the Woodfall Primus. Woodfall the Primus. Terastodon. But if you can get the six, you can get the eight. This seems, kind of this seems perfect. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I, apart from the fact that there's nothing else in the pack. Sure, I think I'm actually pretty happy with that. That's the pack we opened, wasn't it? Move engine? Yeah. yeah. So maybe Emrakul wield? Definitely didn't, but... No, nope. Kitchen Finks did that. Oh. Kitchen Finks is a fine card. Yeah, Valley card. But well, that's not really what you want to be doing, I don't think. No, you want to go hard. Because this is essentially, they just changed the name. This is essentially the Holiday Cube. Yeah. It's got all the power and everything. You want to go really hard. She kind of ramps. For Elise? Does yeah. she? Yeah, she makes elves. She also blows up Butterfly and Enchantments, which is and mega relevant. She draws cards. This is pretty good to me. Yep, yeah, sure. It's great if we get like a Drain Shaman or something. If we do end up in white. If we do end up in white, Special Procession is not the best way to go. Oh, well, we can ramp into it. Pass for six. Six mana for three one ones. That's not the most powerful thing. Pretty good on turn three though. Six mana. But how are you going to do that in with Rafaelis? Yeah, but you could, there's better six traps on sure. turn three. Tangle wire, sure. Whoops, I don't like tangle wire. Like I, I, I get I, it's good. Yeah, I've I've seen people use it to great effect. It's best in aggressive decks. Mm -hmm. You play it in like your white weenie decks. Take the balance. Yeah. What's the best piece of power for us? Just Lotus, I guess. Lotus Moxon. I mean, I'll take a time walk. I won't really take a time walk. I think time walk's a little already, but we've already got two planeswalkers. They're great with time walk. Mm. That's true. We hit a bloodstone colossus <laughs> and a crater of behemoth, crater which is behemoth. better for us. And natural, natural order. order. Well, we want we want the natural order with the crater of behemoth. We want the behemoth first. The behemoth is the problem is when you're ramping. I don't know. Do you want to cast this on turn? I mean, it's still a five five haste. But the pro yeah, it's a five five haste. But would blightsteel just be better? It's a ten ten haste. At least. No, where X is the number of creatures you control. It's at least a 6-6 six, six haste. Oh, sure. Hmm. I mean, 12 is a lot more than 8. We can get this in with Garrick. But the problem is, I, I just don't see how we're going to have that many creatures in play for Crater Hoof to be good. I mean... For me, it's probably... Green, white, or token colors, you know? For me, I, I'm leaning towards Blightsteel. That might be just uh, incorrect. The, the tiebreaker for me here is you can channel a Blightsteel. That's true. Turn two blight steel is hard to pass up. All right, I'm in. I'm in on the blight steel. I'm in. Consecrated Sphinx is cool. Just elves. I think elves just make sense. Or signet. It's a random signet. Elves is just better. Well, it's a green signet. Yeah, I think elves is just better. Okay. Don't That's, have a turn one play. Is that stupid? I don't think it's stupid per se. Mm -hmm. I don't love the comp. No. <laughs> She's better than elves. <laughs> yeah, Den, Den Protector is good, but I think it's Hierarch, probably. They just let us cast this early, and then we're kind of off to the... Fast bond. Tera nasty Terasty. Gaia's Cradle. Oh, man. When it rains, it pours, huh? Sure do. Do you want the Cradle or the tra Nasty Terasty? I think I want the Cradle. Cradle's really good for the... Cradle is very strong. Garrick's not doing a lot at the moment. This is my one concern. Terastodon is nuts. It's not Atlas. I think Blade Lights is better. And Cradle helps a lot with Blade Also, Grim Monolith is no joke, by the way. I mean, I'm just... I'm, what I'm looking at is... How many creatures are we realistically going to have in play? We already have time? eight. Plus, Fraley's makes creatures. So you want Cradle. I want is Cradle. Fastbound better than Cradle? Probably no. not. No, I don't think so. Okay. I want the Cradle. I think you're right. Bingo! Bangle Bungle. So happy in the jungle. I mean, this is a great value card. It's excellent with... It would have been excellent with the Cradle. I, is, is taking Song of the Dryads insane? For removal. Just have a thing. I don't think... I don't think... I think we either want the Dryad... I think we, I think you got to stick on plan. Yep. No, so I understand gotta, what you're saying. Now, this is really good with the Guy's Cradle. Not a first. No, it's not a first. Drain Hermit is really good with the Guy's Cradle. It's really good if we get that Cradle back. And it's really good with... That's it. Frailies. Yeah, that's going to be good enough, right? Yep. It's also a great middling thing to cast once you get one of these bad boys out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Avenger. Bing oh I would like that, but bingo, right? Lotus Cover isn't the best. I think you want Avenger. That's a nice top end now. Yeah. This is good. Oh, hello. Might That's just white. Might just be a Boreal Druid. My, a what? Boreal Druid. There you go. Did I say Boreal? <laughs> yeah. It's not a real word. Yeah, Pedantometer went down. <laughs> there you go. That's crap shot reference. Yeah. yeah. This Void Elemental is pretty good, makes creatures. Yeah. Is that worth considering? Plus you can I'm concerned it's a little too mid rangey. Also, like it also, if we flip an Avenger or a Sunray Titan, we can't, we don't get their ETB effects. Yeah, and or the Hermit, or a Planeswalker. Yeah, it's all bad. Maybe we just have the Pilgrim. Doesn't Drain Hermit have Morph? Am I thinking of a different card? Echo. Echo. Shoot. It's a better guard. 
untaps oh. Gaia's Cradle. That's pretty great. Yeah. <coughs> We're getting to, like, <coughs> turn four Bloodsteel. Well, turn two Bloodsteel is the dream. <clears throat> yeah, just channel Bloodsteel. Yeah. Well, you need, well, yeah, you need Forest Forest channel Bloodsteel. Yeah. That's not impossible, right? Or elves. Elves, yeah. Not, ooh, not the Pilgrim, though. <laughs> not the Pilgrim. Turn three Bloodsteel is pretty good. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Or Sundering Titan. Yeah, blow or up three lands. Or, I mean, Avenger's not great. <laughs> Avenger doesn't quite work either because you need double green. Channel only adds colorless mana. Oh, I suppose. Natural Lord. Now, that only gets Avenger. Avenger and Slatten. Mm. I'm going to take it, I mean. I'm going to put it in the board. It's awkward that it only takes Avenger. I mean, the I mean maybe we'll get, like, what else is there? We've oh, passed... The Cradle Hoof and Terrassium. Terrassium. That's got to be it, I Primus. think. Primus. Yeah, and I like both of them a lot. If we get Wolf of Promise, I think I might be more inclined to play the Natural Order. Yeah. Because, I mean, it still, it still gets you under range tournament. This, by the way, is looking like a very good version of this deck. I like it too. I mean, it's still, you know, it's still turns... It's weak to... This deck is traditionally weak to counter spells. Mm-hmm. Um, Why don't you be too quick, though? Hopefully. Too quick for you. Whoa! 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 We take any mocks, right? Not just a green one. Yeah. Fauna Shaman? I don't love it, but sure. It's probably not what we want. Stick on the board for now. We might have to run it. Okay. We're not gonna Stick Finks in the board as well because it's not what we want to be doing. Do we um? We want twenty four cards. Do we know what? we don't want? Like we don't, we don't need seventeen lands. I don't think. It's looking like we're mono green as well. Den protector is good, but again, not what we want to be doing. Ah, uh, we can recur. Not a lot. Also, like we Bender. just the bingo bangle. Get that natural order back in the deck. <laughs> bingo Dude. bango. B- Hello. Hey. Bingo bango bongo. I don't want to leave the Congo. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, little Fallout reference. We've done Fallout. We've done crap shots. Bingo, bingo, what are the things? What are the popular what are the things? things can, we, can we reference? What other things are there? Um, get to the chopper. No, what's that from? Predator. I've never seen Predator. You never seen Predator? The Predator, the one with the dreadlocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have literally zero targets for this. So. Sure. We can run that. It's totally yeah, good. this is. I just want to avoid being mid rangey. We just want to avoid good stuff. Um, but like you think a six Andre and Sherman are synergistic enough that it's okay Acidic Slime I'm not convinced on but you it's seem super, very strong on super. like Master of the Wild Hunt looks like a very good card don't think it's actually what we want to be doing weirdly enough Guild of Lotus I could see especially since we have 7 and 8 drops we're also very likely to get this back I think Guild of Lotus is where we want to be absolutely can channel into it which is actually fine yeah um, we're dumping our hand that was my bad yeah no I, I don't think Library is exactly where you want to be. I'm now going to mute my phone so I don't look like an asshole when that happens. Asshole as well. Um, I mean, I, there's nothing else in the pack for us. Is it um, insane to just like library is just nuts, right? The problem I have with library is a, it's not first. Sure. B, I don't think we're ever going to have seven cards. In seven our cards in our hand, unless we cast on turn one. But like the card advantage game isn't going to work for us. Yeah, we're de- we're we're going to give. We're up deliberately so much of our vomiting speed. our hand. I could see. I don't think we're playing any of these cards, but I think regrowth is good. is Foothills something we want. Uh, I don't think no. so. I can't believe I'm passing it. Is, I don't it, is it worth we... just hate draft? I don't. I, that's no, not worth it. usually not. This, this is arguably the best card. This is I think this is the strongest card in the cube. That's reasonable. I totally think. Totally reasonable. Maybe you do just take it, and maybe the matches where we bring it in. I can't imagine it, but sure. Is not playing it stupid? I don't think not playing it is stupid. Chromox. Nah. Nah, Chromox is pretty bad. This whole pack is pretty bad looking at it. I guess Stomp Powder. We have better versions of Stomp Powder. We have a Six Slime and we have Fraley's. Yeah, both better. Death Rite? Library? Library's pretty good. Death Rite is kind of a man elf. Not really. If we had fetches in the deck, he's. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess Library. This is a great card to power out. Again, you need. I mean, it is is just an 8 8, though. That's true, if you have another creature. Again, I just want to avoid the mid-range. This is just the, a good the, the classic mistake, I, I like, I, what I'm doing here is possibly erring too hard on the side of sticking to the plan, because right. the, the mistake I always... I, dra- I, I draft this deck a lot, and I always screw it up by just taking mid-range good cards. I think this is a very, very good card, though. I think this is good enough. I think library's a little better. Why? why, why? What are you doing with that? Digging to our big stuff? Mm. Okay. Okay. Nissa? Prime time. time. Prime time's perfect. Excellent with Avenger. Excellent just card. Excellent further ramp up to this stuff. <coughs> yep. Great. I'm in on prime time. I don't think we want any of these. No. Cruel Signet technically. It's fine. It's fine. 
Get off your phone. Hang on. Dude. Bingo, bango, bango. Yeah, Primeval Titans is very, very good. I like this deck a lot. It's looks sweet. Primetime Avenger is no joke. Uh, would have, uh, Avenger would have been too reason to take Wood of Foothills. That's, That's true. That's true. But That's true. I think. Library. Meh. I mean, it's got to be better than their forest. Foothills? Yeah. Not always. Well, it gets a forest. Yeah, but you, I mean, you're paying a life. Yeah, but it's got to be better than that. It's got to be better. Mm, I don't know. Is that a wrongly landfall thing? It is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We didn't take the Cobra. No. That would have been sweet. Next three mana. Ooh. What if it was Black Lotus? That's a Black Lotus. Yeah, right there. Bingo. Of any color as well. And then different colors. It's probably better than Black Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely that's Better than Black Lotus Pod no, doesn't no, Nowhere work. near a pod chain <laughs> um, It's great We don't have enough of them But it's a great card It is a very good card I don't think it's What we want I think I want I don't know Don't want Workshop It's literally A blank land Although Well no We can cast Basalt Monolith can cast Gilded Lotus Four spells Four spells no. It's nowhere near no, 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 no. What's bad against us This Like what's bad for us This I guess We could take Armageddon That's pretty bad Sure I don't think it really matters, if I'll be honest. Awakening Zone, Tooth, tooth and, and Nail. nail. It's gets, Tooth and Nail. Gets Blightsteel. Gets Blightsteel and... Something. Taras, nasty Tarasty, blow up all their lands. Have a yeah, or Sundering Titan, Blightsteel Colossus. That seems insane. Yeah. It's like, you don't have any lands left, and I've got this Infector. <laughs> this 12-12, or whatever it is, 11-11 Trample. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Gotta be tooth and nail. I wouldn't have minded the Awakening Zone. I would have quite liked that, in fact. Mm. Awakening Zone's actually excellent for us. Yep. With, you know, Fraley's. Guy's Cradle. Guy's Cradle. And you, you Guy's Cradle, then you sack them all. <sighs> that's, like a, that's like a turn five. Bye, Stu. Well, I mean, elves and stuff. you play, yeah, you play Awakening Zone turn two with an elf. Mm -hmm. Turn three, you. Uh, play the Salt Monolith. Mm, I can see why Lano Royals is too good for standard at this point, to be honest. Yeah, well, I mean, none of these other cards are <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Um, you don't want an LED, you know? No, I'd take a Yogg will. Sure. You might as well take a regrowth, right? Sure. Can't regrowth Blood Steel, but. No one. <coughs> Beg your pardon? No more Drazzy. No, we don't need him. I would like New Lamog. The Ceaseless Hunger. Yeah. Sure. Or New Zelek, who we're now allowed to talk about. Oh yeah, that that might be something to talk about when we have a second. What do you think of the leaks? How do you feel about it? Do you have any strong feelings one way or the other? Not super. Did you read the? I did read Trick's article. Yeah, yeah. Um, made a lot of sense. Um, Jason on Brainstorm Brewery wrote an article and like responded to it. He's in favor of like stop leaking, like leaking, like they are allowed to be upset. This makes sense. Yeah, it's like I mean, like spoiled their birthday party. Like. How how would you be upset if like yeah? I mean, the point is the hype. Like you want, and there's there's something very fun about spoiler season. Like what's gonna come next? What's gonna come next? I'm not. I've never been too huge in the spoiler season, but I'm aware that that's a thing for a lot of people. Yeah, and like I would. Listen, we're at twenty three with all this stuff. We just played this regrowth to get like a back back of tooth and nail or something. Or a channel. Yeah, I think we might as well play that regrowth. It's gotta be worthwhile. Eh, I'm unsure. I mean, we, I don't. I I really don't think we want twenty seventeen lands. Okay. Um. Just 16 forests, or no, we want the guy's cradle and 15 forests. Yeah, that's gotta be enough. Um, what was it saying? It's like new Star Wars came out last night in mm -hmm. Ireland, and how mad you, you the whole time you wanted to know what's happening in the Star Wars, but how mad would you have been if 15 minutes before you went in, someone told you the end? Here's a more apt thing how, how imagine we got a spoiler Wizards were like, hey, what must slam? Yeah, we have this windmill themed card in uh, the Gatewatch. Please. <laughs> so, could you? We don't want you to do a spoiler video, and then a week and a half before we spoil, our spoiler video goes up. The the card comes up. Yep. That sucks. It does suck. You know, and like this, this way, the way that this happened, a it was kind of damaging because people mm -hmm. spent weeks wildly speculating about how the colorless thing worked. That was the biggest problem. That's a big problem because they the way they did they planned the reveal was show In you show you sense, Kozilek yeah. and then show you Expedition Ancient Tomb, wasn't yeah, it? And then, like, then you're oh, like, cool. okay, cool, but. The, the way the way it happened is it didn't make sense to a lot of people for a yeah. long time. Um, is Whisper of Elemental better than Natural Order? Is it not Natural Regrowth? Order. Regrowth. Probably. Okay. We don't want Primal Command. That just didn't do anything. Nope. Does it, does, well, it's not, doesn't Primal Command tuck lands? I'm thinking of Plow Under. No, you put non-creature permanent on the top of their library. I'm thinking of Plow Under. That's a great card. Yeah. Um, 
But um, also, I mean, that's kind of unique to the, this specific spoiler season. Mm-hmm. But in general, it just kind of sucks the fun out of it. Yep. You know, and that sucks. But we're going to go to round one now. Indeed we are. And we'll see you there.